in St. Bernard Parish. And this afternoon, St. Bernard Parish opened the floodgates, allowing fishermen and residents living outside the levee protection system a chance to store their belongings until the storm passes. And Carice Jackman joins us now live in St. Bernard Parish. Carice? We're here at the Carnarvon floodgate in St. Bernard Parish. You could take a look behind me and see at least 100 boats right now. People, fishermen, making sure they're manning them, roping them off, protecting them as they prepare for Tropical Storm Nate. Now, St. Bernard Parish President Guy McGinnis says that he called a mandatory evacuation for people living outside of the levee protection system. That means people who own boats, fishermen, and people who have belongings outside are making sure they're preparing their boats, all of their properties, just to make sure that they are secure as they prepare for this storm. And a lot of fishermen say they're not taking any chances, even though this doesn't seem like it's going to be the strongest storm they've seen in their lifetime. Just got to watch, see what it's doing. I mean, it may not be nothing, but you'd rather be safe than sorry. That's the way I look at it. And it wasn't just here in Carnarvon. The Bayou Dupree Locks or the Violet Canal was also open to fishermen as well. Reporting in St. Bernard Parish, I'm Carice Jackman, Eyewitness News.